Hello viewers, this is Lina Tagele presenting the design model of language learning. In this design model, the learner is supposed to be taken through four language construction processes. And the four language construction processes are here. We have situated practice, we also have overt instruction, we also have critical framing, and finally, we have the transformed practice. Let us start with the situated practice. In this stage, we are supposed to take the learner through uh, them, through helping them remember the prior knowledge of what they are going to learn about. Because prior knowledge supports learning. In our case here, you are teaching these children about uh, writing a composition about an airport. Most of these learners have not had the opportunity of going to the airport. So what should you do as, 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 the, as the instructor or as the teacher? You are supposed to help these children connect what you are teaching with what they have already experienced because prior knowledge supports learning. If at all, whatever you are going to teach, they have not had an experience of it, then the knowledge construction there is going to be abstract because there will be no connection between what they are learning and what you are talking about. So we should immerse them in that kind of environment that is going to help them have that experience so that they understand. So in the situated practice, it is about their experiences that are going to support their understanding of what is being talked about. So in the situated practice, your topic was about a visit to the airport. Remind them so that they may develop the mental picture for them to understand what an airport is. There you can see people are standing, some are waiting. Uh, the relevant vocabulary in relation to an airport, you can see there is an aeroplane that is just there on the runway. There is an aeroplane which is now taking off. And then finally you will have to go through all the vocabulary that are related to the airport so that the learners can understand everything when it comes to an airport. The next stage is the overt instruction. This is the point where the learners are now supposed to understand, to conceptualize what they are going to learn about. As a teacher, you should ensure that you expand the learner's knowledge of what they are learning about. This is through actively involving them in looking for new information, reconstructing that knowledge so that they get to understand better. And this one can be done through even more knowledgeable learners, like their parents can help them understand, uh, more knowledgeable peers in the classroom through discussion, they'll be able to understand better what an airport is and what takes place there in the, at the airport. The next stage, that is the third stage, is the critical framing stage. And this is the point where the learners now analyze what they are learning about. At this stage, their concern is about uh, solving problems. How is what they are learning here going to help them solve a problem? For example, in our situation here, they are learning about the vocabulary in relation to an airport, what an airport is, how is this thing going to help them solve, solve problems? And how is it going to help them solve problems in the wider society, in the wider social context? Are they going to use it and what are they going to use it for? Uh, in our case here, they are going to analyze texts and probe the interest of, 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 of what they are learning to solve problems like uh, at the end of the lesson, maybe the teacher is going to give them uh, an assignment of how to write on how to write a composition about a visit to the airport. 
And so they have to analyze it so that they understand. Uh, and one last step is the transformed practice, which is also concerned with application of the knowledge that they have acquired. How is this knowledge? How are they going to apply it in the real world situation? For in our case here, they are going to use it to write that composition. Finally, the teacher will give them a composition about maybe write a composition about a visit to the airport. This is now a real situation. They are going to write, to write whatever they have learned in that composition. And as if that is also not enough, they are, their knowledge they have acquired here, they will one time use it maybe when they have that opportunity to travel by air. And so they will be able to connect the knowledge they learned in the classroom and now what finally they have in their real life experience. Otherwise, thank you very much. See you next time.